Hey guys, how you doing? So today just a quick video showing you the process of how I prepare my moi for printing uh, and I do this each time uh, before I start a new print if I've left the uh, printer off overnight. So just a simple process but uh, I like to show you what I do which includes heating up the resin before printing. Alright, so we've got my moi here and it's been sitting uh, unused for the last couple of days. This is my vat cover, which is simply the box that the vat came in, cut in half, works great. Uh, obviously I've got my uh, PDMS resin vat here, so let me just remove that. And we'll take the vat and set it on top of my Wenhao Duplicator i3 Plus. And we will just notice that uh, I've just got a um, paper towel sitting between the heater build bed, bed and the vat. We'll set the preheat temperature to PLA, which is around 50 degrees. Hopefully, you get a good view of what's going on. So, it is summer here in Australia. Um, it's about 10 o'clock at night, and the current temperature is probably around 28 degrees, so it's getting hot already. Um, but, for th but for those of you um, living in cooler climates, uh, you'll want to keep your resin heated during printing or if you don't have a heater inside the uh, moi you want to uh, at least heat the resin before uh, using it so I've just got a cheap uh, silicon spatula here and make sure you get silicon tools otherwise the plastic ones will uh, damage the surface of your vat and I've got the heater on already, so all I'm going to do is just simply start stirring the resin until it becomes less viscous. And you see I am tilting the vat in one direction, and that's so I can uh, scrape the resin off to expose the PDMS silicon underneath uh, and this is called airing and basically the PDMS if it's been sitting uh, covered by resin for too long uh, gets over uh, saturated with resin and doesn't work quite as well so you want to get a little bit of air in there and then basically just scrape off any type of resin uh, any resin you've got left over on top and obviously continue stirring now this acrylic vat um, you're not going to melt it with 50 degrees so don't worry about it too much and as I mentioned the current temperature is about 28 degrees so it's already pretty hot so I'm not going to leave this in for too long but um, if you've got a thermometer with a probe you can always put it in there and just uh, check the temperature uh, with the NEX clear resin which is what I'm using uh, you want it to be about between 28 to 30 degrees for the optimal printing temperature So while I'm stirring, I'm also, uh, while I'm stirring, I'm also checking for any sort of cure resin that may be stuck to the bottom of the vat. And there isn't any, so we're all good. So 
think that's pretty good now. So once you've finished stirring, heating the resin, give it a quick wipe. Take the resin and put it back into the moai. You want to make sure your vat is nice and secured in there. It shouldn't be wobbling around or loose. And obviously we need to attach the build plate. So at this stage, uh, the temperature in here, I would say it's about 26, 27 degrees. It's fine for what I'm printing tonight. Uh, but uh, if you again, if you're living in a cooler climate, then you might want to actually get a hairdryer and just um, sit it in here for uh, a minute or something and just um, blow some hot air inside. The reason being is these metal structures um, they, they would be quite cool so at the minimum if you just get them uh, to like a normal ambient temperature of around 25 degrees your resin is just going to uh, work a lot better um, as you print the the moi the machine will heat up by itself anyway so just to take the edge off the cold um, you'd want to yeah just get the hair dry in here and uh, heat up the uh, the metal parts so this is all good to go for printing and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.